How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we have done it once again. Uh, it's always, always the multi right after stream, but hey, we got him. We have the LR and Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. This is the Carnival Double Rates LR for this year's Christmas celebration. And we are excited to test these guys out at 55% right out the gate, level 1 links. Um, they are arguably one of the best Carnival LRs released this year. I don't know quite yet that I would put in them above Gohan and Trunks, but they're definitely above last year's LRs and definitely above the anniversary LRs. Um, so... We're going to test them out, see how they are, and maybe adjust our opinions on them. So let's take a look. They have an entrance animation that can be activated once only, and are attacks are effective against all types and reduces damage received by 30% for 5 turns from the start of the entry turn when there are 2 or more Super Saiyans or Movie Heroes allies on the team upon the entry turn. They get key 3 and attack and defense 180% plus an additional attack and defense 130% when attacking. They also have an additional key 3 per int key sphere obtained and randomly chase key spheres to int type uh, when there's another Super Saiyans or movie heroes attacking in the same turn. They launch additional attacks that have a high chance of becoming super attack for every 3 key spheres up to three additional attacks so if you got nine key spheres you would launch um up to four supers right so let's go ahead we're gonna run them on the power of wishes team just so we can kind of get them that little extra buff with the support um as well as the bulma support so let's go ahead let's jump on in here we're showcasing them in the shadow dragons this way you will get to see them during those uh early turns at their most powerful but also um a little later when they don't have that entrance passive. It should be around here. Ah! Ah! All right, Super Saiyan. I can't believe that's what they went with for the ent entrance animation. I mean, it makes sense, but I mean, it's just funny. All right, so we actually have them um, on a good setup, right? We will get the Bulma support rotate uh, Bulma support this turn. So, 200k starting defense and 30% reduction. That's actually not bad. That's going to help them tank a lot of good things, right? So, nine key spheres. We're going to get their full passive here. Um, is it per int or per key sphere? Nope. Uh, per key sphere. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to have the full passive there. Um, I'm actually going to take this with SBA Goku. He's not going to get his full passive, but I need to ensure that Bulma gets hers, right? So... Um, attacks looking all right. Um, most of their stuff is going to happen when they super, right? Ooh, wow. <laughs> 10 million on the opening attack at 55% level one links. That's kind of crazy. And they, again, they're, okay, so they get an extra normal. Right, which, which can happen. The proc to normal. It's a 50% chance for each normal, right? There we go. So we do proc at least one extra super. And with each of these, they are raising attack and defense um, for three turns. So as long as we get at least one extra super, we'll be able to continue their um, stacks for the turn. Look at that. SBA Goku not doing too bad either. So we did bring him because he is one of the best partners for him. Super Saiyan God. I never knew this level of power existed. Alrighty, so we will have Bulma rolling over to this rotation. Um, let's see here. I think we'll keep God Goku as our floater. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Alright, so let's grab that. All 
All right, perfect. That actually worked out really nicely for us. God Goku was still able to get his stacks in. So we're actually running this um, with a mix match lead, right? Um, honestly, the I, I feel like for if you're not going to use them on uh, Super Saiyans, which I think for most of the showcase we will end up being uh, most of the Grand Tour for these guys, we will do uh, Super Saiyans for the run. Um, I think if you're not going to run Super Saiyans, I mean, this is really their only other 200% lead. I feel like this is probably the appropriate way to do it this way, right? It gives you a little more flexibility in who you want to bring on the team. Having one lead be the Z duo and the other lead being the GT duo. Uh, that way you don't have to balance both of them, right? All right, well, that didn't quite work out as well as I wanted it to, but, I mean, look, we did raise our defense quite well. Um, we're only going to get nine here, though, so I'm actually going to put SBA Goku here. Let's see if that drops a little. There we go. We got ten this time, so as long as she doesn't super spear bomb absorb Goku, we're okay. But look at, um, look at how quick we jumped up from turn one to turn two. Um, that's actually pretty awesome. Let's grab that. Alright, so SBA Goku, uh, not as good as last turn, but that's okay. Alright, nice. So 11 million on turn 2, that's not that bad, right? So this next turn would be the ideal turn to use the active skill, uh, to be completely honest, because of that entrance passive. But I don't know that we will do that. Honestly, I'm feeling like we should have just showcased them in a short event. But then again, I, I mean, we run the risk of not, you know, him supering someone's slot. Well, you, you guys know how red zone uh, dismal futures are. So, I mean, we'll, we'll just keep it as is. You guys can see both how they are doing. There we go. Alrighty, so we are in the next phase here. And it looks like we probably want to float off the GT duo at this point. Because I think by the time we get back to them on the other rotation, we'll be in one of the final phases, which is which is good for us. So let's Grab that with Bulma. We'll get her passive up. Um, we'll just keep the Z duo here. And yeah, let's do that. Let's rotate off the GT duo here. Alright, I'm pretty sure with the Z duo, we ought to, we if they get a bunch of supers, we ought we I feel like we can finish this phase. I think it's all going to depend on how many supers they get, to be completely honest. There we go. Okay, so I feel like with this, plus the G what the GT duo is going to do here, um, th this should take him down. Which is fine, so we're we're entering Nova, one of the harder parts of this fight, still with our entrance passive up, so I, yeah, I feel like that's okay. Alright, excellent. Alright, yeah, so this is the ideal active, sc turn, active skill turn. Ideally, I, I mean, I would have wanted to have the GT Duo on, but... The, the way the active skill works, right, if we take a look here, um, we either need to be of... We ha we either have to have all Super Saiyans or be on turn 6, right? So, GC Duo wouldn't activate it till turn 6 anyways, which means his passive would have been up. So, alright, so here's what we're going to do. We need to build up 
Mm, wow, we, we got a really bad orb change in here. Alright, well, let's start by using the active skill, right? Please! Lend me all of your energy! Kakarot is my prey! I need to help Goku complete the spirit bomb! <laughs> I did not anticipate that doing that much. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to grab this with SBA Goku. Yes, that did fall the way I wanted it to. Perfect. Alright, so we'll get seven key spheres here. Not the best, but we'll get most of their passive up. But look at that attack stat. Good lord. Alright, and again, this is 55%, mind you. So let's grab that. Jeez. Alright, cool. Well, at least we get the super off with SBA Goku. Alright, 12 million. So the active skill turn with what we're doing on that uh, active skill, right? That's pretty good for 55% level 1 wings like that. Just one shot him. And of course, we still could have done three, two more supers there because we only got seven. So pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Alright, and of course he links Bulma here. Alright, let's grab that. Um, let's do that. And then... There's no point in standby in the Z2 since everybody's locked, so let's just do that. Alright, we did get quite a few keys here with him, so I think post super he's okay. There we go. Yep. Uh tanking a super though, I don't know. Oh, well, okay, we're solid. <laughs> we survived. That's all that matters. Excellent. Alright, we get the double super with Bulma. Alright, so this actually worked out in our favor, honestly. That not nearly as bad as it could have been. Because now because I'm not sure if we've gotten everything we need to get the GT duo standby, so having this having us take that hit actually will help us get it. And so we'll get to kind of see them with the GT duo standby, but on a turn where their entrance passive is up, right? Ideally, when you're using this unit, you want to keep that entrance passive up, right? Alright, so let's swap them. Let's go ahead and let's stand by the GT duo. Please, everyone, lend me your energy. I can't die. Not yet. Darn it! Please, Kakarot! I, I need your power! You guys... Alright, so taking a look at them here, obviously we're going to be not as powerful as we were in the last turn, right? Because without that, we no longer have the damage reduction, which means that, um, you know, defensively, I mean, they're okay defensively. Well, I shouldn't say okay. They're 1.1 mil. Uh, at max links 55%, which which is good, but that extra 30% helps them live major supers in things like Dismal Future Red Zone, but not having it he uh, here in this instance, this is when it would become detrimental, right? Because without that 30%, probably not going to live a f super from something like Fusion Zamas, or he would might even have some trouble uh, here with us if they were to take a super here, if only because they're type uh, disadvantage, so... Um, let's see, can we get seven is going to be the best we do. All right, let's do that. They will grab that with SBA Goku. 
All right, um, so still looking pretty hot on the attack there. And then remember, every everything they get comes off of when they attack. So 13 mil. So with those extra stacks that we got, right? Remember, you got to keep up the stacks every turn in order to see them at their most powerful. There we go, 9 mil on the second one. All right, we get a normal... Yeah, so the other thing we lose out on here since we're past the entrance turn is the effect against all types, which really helps them. So, I mean, ideally when you're using this, you're using them in fights where you can finish the enemy by turn 5. If you're not finishing the enemy by turn 5, then you've got a couple issues. Um, because then things are going to start get, uh, getting a little dicey for them. So, I mean, I do like this team. If we just kind of come here, I want to show them off again, right? Uh, I do like their Super Saiyans team, right? Because it allows you to run things like Future Gohan, Sword of Hope Trunks, right? Uh, Z Duo, you know, Power of Witches is nice. Having Bulma, having the Z Duo to link with them is always nice. But I think their Super Saiyans team is kind of where they're at their strongest. And that's probably where we're going to be running them for their showcase, um, simply, or their Grand Tours, rather, simply because that's that's kind of, on a Super Saiyans team, with Gohan, with Trunks, like, you're definitely finishing whatever enemy by turn five, just because those combined with him are some of the most powerful characters in the game currently, so... Guys, that is the video. That is the 55% level 1 link showcase for the new Super Saiyan, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. Honestly, I'm really happy uh, that this card is here. I like how well they handle them. They handle them oh so well. Um, they are really good, and I can't wait to finish their grand tour. So, anyways, guys, that is the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know what are your thoughts on the new Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks at 55%. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and aloha.